about to watch the best TV show in the world. Yeah! <laughs> Well, some call it the Valley Isle, and it's best known for its beaches and incredible surfing. And I was so excited to come here, I was again motivated to try to lose those 10 pounds that I gained eight years ago. Sure, yeah, I was coming here to see the dogs, but I was also hoping to spend some quality time at the beach. And I was wanting to look a little fit in case I was caught in front of the camera without my shirt on. But why did I choose out of all of the Hawaiian Islands to come to Maui? Well, to explain, I'd have to go back to when I was just a kid. Many years ago, my older brother told me of this faraway world, an island that, beyond its beauty, contained the best of our planet's geographical features and all of its eco-climates. A land of adventure seekers, a world hidden in folklore and mystery. He of course was talking about New Zealand, but until I go there, Maui fulfills all those expectations. It's one of the most exciting places a person really could ever visit. Like many coming here, I soon learned it was much more than surfing and swaying palm trees. It was more than waterfalls and hula girls, and it was even much more than those red convertible rental cars, Rolex shopping, photograph taking or postcard sending. Here was a wonderland of incredible natural diversity. The oceans are filled with seals, whales, octopus, turtles, on beaches that range from exotic and sandy to remote and rocky with coconut, avocado, and tall cool pine forests that overlook golf courses, sheep farms, even the windsurfers barely visible in the bays below. Well, that concludes the backdrop and the geography lesson. Now it's time for another serving of the dog soup. You know, surfing on Maui, it's not a big deal. Even nowadays, surfing with your dog, it's kind of ho-hum. But I was excited when Nickum Los Banos emailed me these photographs of him and his dog, Mana, and they were on these like big, you know, 10, 12, whatever size foot waves they were on. So we got our crew, which is me, we got ourselves down to uh, Kihei. The problem is the waves were barely rideable. Well, this is what happened. I'll just go ahead and show you. Well, my name is Nick of Los Banos, born and raised on the North Shore of Oahu. Um, started surfing when I was a young boy, like around 66. 68 and uh, when I came to Maui uh, my son about three three years ago my son was a senior in high school and he came home with Mana which was a puppy and uh, I told him son you going off to college you know what are you doing bringing a dog home so I ended up I basically traded a son who went off to college for a dog and uh, we've been uh, surfing partners ever yeah. since yeah. my dog Mana is a uh, American Bulldog and a pointer mixed breed. And he just, he he loves the water so much. And in fact, he, I guess he apparently loves me that much because he's willing to go anywhere in the water with me. Be, may it be uh, one foot waves to 10 foot waves out of Hokipa or Honolulu Bay or even out in McKenna. He's two and a half years old and 70 pounds. So he's a big dog to be on a surfboard. <laughs> right. Good. All right. We'll let you guys get out in the so, water. We'll okay. check out how, how this yeah, works. Yeah, we're just going to get, get wet a little yeah, bit. Yeah, yeah. Just get wet.
Mana, Mana of Higo. Anywhere, oh, anytime, any place. <laughs> He's actually the, the Laird Hamilton of surfing dogs. Okay, and that's how I'm trying to promote him as that. Yeah. <laughs> But he loves the water. Yeah. He loves to make people laugh. Thanks, we're gonna take off. frustration and they hit their dogs and no one likes to get hit. Turn it down just a little bit. Okay. Here's a trivia question for you. Who is the best known big wave surfer in the whole world? Well, the answer, Laird Hamilton, who lives actually very close to where I'm shooting right now. I wasn't able, however, to get him nor his dogs on our show, but a good close neighbor, Cynthia Sazzo, with her designer dog, Dragon. Dragon, come here. Come on. Here again, I am not your typical, in any way, shape, or form, dog owner of Maui. I call myself a dog snob, animal snob. Yeah, like I only choose things that are really interesting to look at and are exotic breeds. Yeah, my mother didn't really like dogs very much. So this one just appealed to me because he's black and then he has polka dots. And I used to have Harlequin Great Danes. And they were also black and white spotted. And at, while I was showing those Great Danes, I saw this dog, you know, like trot across the path one day. And I went, oh my gosh, look at that. That is like so bizarre, that breed of dog. And I just said, someday I'd like to own something like that. And I had no idea what I was getting into as far as grooming or uh, the delicacy of the breed, or I didn't know anything about their temperament. This is a really, really smart dog. And he's, I always say he's a thinking dog. And, you know, he, you can just actually see him thinking. You know, yeah. there's dogs that really aren't, you know, that smart that really need to be in obedience school. He loves tricks. He loves wearing clothes. I think he loves wearing clothes. You know, I mean, he's been wearing clothes. Not any old clothes, you know, not yeah. goofy little sweet stuff, but but he has like little leather jackets, he has motorcycle boots, he has studded jewelry. He's got his own wardrobe. We have a, uh, a grooming table in our laundry room, you know, for all the dogs. And one whole side of it is just Dragon's wardrobe. I really think they take on the uh, personality of the owner because I've seen this breed before with different owners and they've been completely different. dog on a leash 24 7 it's gonna be so happy to get off that it's just gonna take off and do what dogs do now when I was young I grew up with dogs but words like behavioral training and nutrition and socialization they simply weren't part of my vocabulary but nowadays of course dog owners are much more in tune with the needs of their dog and that's a good thing and a great example we're gonna check out now is of Brendan Sison and his pit bull let's do it Hug, say hi. Say hi. <laughs> it's kind of camera shy. Uh, he's a purebred American pit bull. Uh, you can tell from his skin that he is blue. So he's what you call blue nose. Uh, he's about three years old. Made three years old uh, about three weeks ago. Um, he's pretty much a, our big baby. 